Elizabeth on YouTube that says, what about toiletries? I was planning on just taking a carry on to New Zealand and buy most toiletries while I was there. However, after doing some research, some people advised buying them beforehand due to how expensive they are in New Zealand. For example, sunscreen. What do you say? All right, so the cost of toiletries in New Zealand. So for sure, it is always easier to get yourself your own brand, the thing that you know uh, beforehand, before coming to New Zealand. But, um, there, you know, it is always easier to travel with carry-on. I mean, I arrived in New Zealand with the carry-on. I love yeah, traveling with the carry-on. I've been very yeah. jealous of people that have managed to do that. To travel around New Zealand with the carry-on is so easy. Like, it, obviously, you're not carrying as much stuff. It's... It's definitely a good way to go if you do want to have like a, the, a backpacking experience. Yeah. But yeah, that does mean that you won't be able to bring a, a plenty of toiletries no, that's through for sure. system. So. so what I've done for you, Elizabeth, is that actually I went uh, to the supermarket for you and actually I wrote the price down of, of all, all the items which I consider toiletries. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the price that I find. Obviously, there is always a kind of a bit of a price range depending on which brand you want and everything like that. But yeah. um, here is what I got for you. So for sunscreen, um, obviously, there's so much different prices. I personally usually buy the sunscreen, which is reef safe. Uh, that means that when you wash this in the water, it's not going to destroy the corals and everything like that. And that in New Zealand costs about $14. So it sounds a little bit expensive. Yeah. If you don't care about the, about the planet uh, and you want to get whatever sunscreen uh, you can find for cheaper, you can get sunscreen for about $7 um for 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 a good size bottle uh, but we suggest uh, you spend seven dollars to save our beautiful planet earth um but you know, spend fifteen dollars to save um no an extra seven dollars oh, right, an yeah. extra seven dollars yeah. yeah uh all right then toothbrush uh toothbrush prices range between one to five dollars it really depends i mean I, I don't know i don't know what's happening at the moment with toothbrush in the world <laughs> but i arrive in the supermarket and man there's like a million different i usually take always kind of the same one um the one I take is about $3.50, but oh my god, there's so many different ones. There is. Anyway, so it goes from $1 to about $5 for a toothbrush. Uh, some of them have like literally like a, a, a pattern on it or whatever. Yeah. It's just completely craziness, but yeah, I guess. I don't know. You can get those eco friendly yeah, toothbrushes that's true, that's now. True. That's we the have one. just bought some for the that, first time recently get, yeah. and we want to check them yeah. out. Those bamboo toothbrushes. So. Bamboo and charcoal bristles. Or yeah. That is. So yeah, that, that's, those ones are pretty cool. So that's the one which has $3.50 um, in there. Uh, then we have toothpaste. So toothpaste, like uh, they are uh, three between three and seven dollars. Uh, the same thing depending on like what kind of fancy toothpaste do you want. Now always check the price of toothpaste per like uh, hundred grams or something like that. Uh, you know per weight because I'm not joking. Almost every single time in New Zealand we find that the toothpaste uh, 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 family value pack are more expensive than the uh, yeah. Than the that's normal definitely one. something to keep an eye out in New it's Zealand. Crazy. The yeah. the value packs are not always, you know, it's actually not better value than the small things. You actually save money by, yeah, buying the smaller versions of those toothpastes and stuff rather than the family packs if you're going off the, like, price per gram. So, yeah, do keep an eye out for that. It can be pretty tricky with those sort of pricings. Yeah. Uh, then the dental floss. Yeah, $3 for dental floss. And just to make it clear, this is New Zealand dollars. Yeah, New Zealand dollars. Not yeah. any other time. It's not US, it's not Australian, nothing like that. New Zealand dollars, this is the prices we're going for. So dental floss around $3. So then mouthwash, like Listerine or McLean or whatever those brands yeah, are. Yeah, so that's around $7. I think that's for for one of the bigger bottles. Yeah. yeah. Um, deodorant, so something for deodorant, there is so <laughs> many choices between yeah. the spray can, the roll up, the this, that, so there is. Like something when I, when I, you know, like when you do sh sh supermarket shopping without doing some research for you, Elizabeth, uh, you kind of just grab the, the, the stuff that you used to and yeah. you pretty much you don't look around. But man, it goes crazy expensive. So the can, like the spray ones, uh, which are terrible for the planet, but they're the most expensive one. So they're, you know, like maybe five, six dollars sometimes. So they're quite expensive. But the roll up one, which are much better for the planet, uh, they're about three dollars. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Body wash. Body wash is around six dollars. Um, yeah. On the same note, like uh, the kind of bar soap, if you rather go for soaps rather than uh, body wash and everything like that, they 
between one to two dollars depending on which soap yeah. you want and how much goat milk you want in your soap because apparently goat milk is the new thing like yeah. there was like so many stuff saying new goat milk new with goat milk <laughs> so i want to try goat milk um <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner, that's around $4 for each. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's pretty, obviously you've got a lot of choices there as well. Um, for uh, lady items like pads and tampons, that's around $4 each as well. And again, you have loads of choice. Yeah. What's, what's inside the pack? They, they're quite small, right? Or Yeah, so or? Uh, I think they're like, like 16 per pack or okay. something but the thing with to note about um like lady items in new zealand is that the packaging is crazy they put loads and loads of packaging they package every single individual item and then put a cardboard box around it and then put another cardboard box around it and then put some like plastic film around the whole thing so christmas were, i know it's crazy so there are some eco-friendly options there as well if you do want to buy those and they're usually a bit more expensive around five dollars each all right, so for shaving, uh, so shaving cream uh, is around $6. Um, uh, it, it, it's about the same price for the foam stuff as well, so it's about the same thing, but usually you get more use out of shaving creams. And razors and blades are usually about $8. As for the combo, it's like one blade and one razor. If you want a refill of blade, it's usually about uh, between $12 and $15. That's an extra three blades. Um, I'd like $1 or $2 for women ones. Weirdly enough, I never really looked at the price of yours, but like I looked at it and it was like, oh, it's just, uh, there's a yeah. pink tax. Yeah, they call it the pink tax, you know, because you're a girl, you know, it's just a little bit <laughs> I know, more, it's so, crazy. Yeah. That's actually it's the same why thing. It's so, yeah. essentially the same That's thing. That's why sometimes like, I used to just buy like guys versions of these things. It's just blue or pink. Cheaper. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Anyway, yeah. wipes, um, again, horrendous for the planet, but $8 if you want to buy yeah. a pack of wipes. You know how to make that cheaper? Just use your body wash yeah. <laughs> and the water in the sink. Just use soap, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that works too. Um, and finally, earbuds. So those little uh, stuff you use to clean your ears um, for a pack of like 100, it's like those round bucks. It's around $4. All right, so I hope that this uh, kind of like give you a bit of an insight of what is the cost of Tony trees in New Zealand. And uh, that will help you evaluate if you want to buy that back home or not. Um, comparing from the experience I had with other countries, I don't think the price is that different. It wouldn't make me want to change my mind from carry on to backpack for just yeah. that much, you know. Like if I add everything right here, I have like, at the most I have 50 bucks. So if you save 10% by buying it back home, it's five bucks compared to like having to carry a big bag all around and having to do all the checking and everything. Hell, I'm spending an extra five bucks. Hell, I would spend an extra 50 bucks, in fact. Even if I had free toiletry from back home, I would spend the money to buy all that because I wouldn't make the difference. It is my personal <laughs> opinion, obviously. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, we are going to put some some links in the description below about the cost of life in New Zealand so you understand a bit more the cost of every type of items in New Zealand to help you guys out. Um, so make sure to check this one out. And if you find that useful, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. It always helps us a lot.